Right. That was the uh, first test flight of the um, custom scooter in its new configuration. So we've got adjustable rear shock on it off the PXR50. Bolt on handlebars so you can change them and adjust them. I had to modify the top yoke for that. Some universal risers. Some fork gaiters on there. Neaten up the uh, stanchions. And there's a new front brake master cylinder. So we've got front brakes now. And the biggest change is, of course, missing. No boost gauge. The reason for that is, no supercharger. Uh, there were some comments about um, using um, a different carb um, because these CV carbs aren't that great. I tend to agree with that. Um, and also vacuum leak as well. Um, I was having an issue here. The um, clamp had basically um, was opening up. As much as you tried to tighten it, it would slacken off. So I think that's where the vacuum leak was. I think the biggest problem I was having is that I don't think this engine has enough horsepower as standard to um, run the supercharger at the speed it needs to go. Um, I must admit that even the starter motor was actually struggling to start it with the belt drive and all the additional load on it. You know, it's what they call parasitic drain. So, you know, with a supercharger, you know, <laughs> a conventional one, it takes quite a bit of horsepower just to get it to turn, um, which increases the more boost you're making. Um, but then the potential to make extra horsepower on top of that is the benefit. But with the 49cc engine, um, it just wasn't getting anywhere near what it needed to do to actually see any benefit out of having it on there. Um, so I've taken it off, put the carb straight on there, removed some of the cabling, and it now pretty much does the same speed it does with the supercharger on it. So that confirmed that. Um, it wasn't actually having any benefit whatsoever. Um, and it also acc accelerates quicker as well um, because it hasn't got that extra load on it coming from the, um, the variator drive pulley. So I've had to put a cover over this um, mainly because you don't want to be getting, putting your fingers in there. The same there, I've put a cover over that because you want to, because in there still is the pulley for the drive belt and it's bolted right up to the um, pinion for the starter motor. So uh, you don't you want to put your finger in there. But yeah, it um it's a little bit of a blast to ride. Um been fun to build, but I think it's time for it to uh find a new home so I can uh, move on to my next project, which is gonna be this. The Puka Thomas Special Mark II. As you can see, I did get quite far with it, but um, still needs a way to go. So, sorry for the indoor video today, it's very windy up here in Wales. Um, thanks for subscribing to my channel. Um, any new viewers, um, please subscribe because it, it does help make things go a lot easier for me. Uh, gives me more confidence to make more videos. So. Uh, Take care out there, ride safe, and I'll see you all again soon.